Hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I am so glad you're here today and it is Sunday and I'm super early with my week in review, but you will find out why very soon. So, hello, hello, how is everybody doing today? I am live, so if you're watching this later and you're ever interested in checking out a live video and hanging out with the tribe because there's awesome people Awesome, everybody. Um, hanging out in the chat, which is over here, I think, if I got it right, on the computer and down below on your phone. So if you're ever interested, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. And hey, while you're there, why not hit that subscribe button so you can join, join the Texas Gal Tribe. I know it's cheesy, but hey, we have a good time. All right, so hey in the chat. I see Tony and Amy are there. Hi, everybody. So... Um, today we've got a week in review. I'll answer any questions you might have and just talk about on um, the process we've I've undertaken in moving our family to Austin and where we're at and how we're, we're pretty much almost well, not done, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Oh dear. Um, here, a little coffee. We need a little esp espresso patronum this morning. Sorry, I have a little bit extra. Pardon me. Got to do it. Got to do it. Okay. So um, I like to do a week in review because I think it's important that when you are, you know, anything in life, but, but especially your business, that you're taking a look at how things went. Did they go the way you were hoping they would? And how are you going to fix that? Or what are you going to do coming up? So I think it's important to take it into chunks and, and you know, tweak and redirect where you need to. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, this past week, we've been packing <laughs> so if you, if you don't know we are moving to austin uh, we live in houston right now so we are having an austin invasion my husband got a job in austin and we've been slowly moving we've been back and forth and back and forth and basically my ebay and my etsy business have been put on hold um, my i put the shops on vacation mode i tried in the first few weeks to kind of keep it keep it going but it was so stressful um remembering oh yeah i've got sales to box up and i'm trying to box up my house and i'm trying to i homeschool too so i'm trying to homeschool and it was um really really stressful so i decided to put my shops on vacation mode um i have sold a few things here and there in haul videos that i've done so that's been kind of nice um to still get a little bit of income and still have you know some interaction with you guys as far as haul videos and things so my merch by amazon because different ways i make money um, as a stay-at-home mom are i sell on etsy and ebay i do print on demand through printful and etsy and um merch by amazon so my merch by amazon has is going along pretty well as seeing as i haven't done a whole lot um again early on i was still trying to get my uploads in and then you you finally get to the point where you realize you really just can't do it all. <laughs> you know, and it's hard for me to, to admit that I just can't do it all. Um, so yeah, I was getting stress sick. Uh, I did a video and I was so, I don't know, there's no other word I could think of for it, it's stress sick. I just couldn't anymore. And I, I went in like catatonic, like I felt like I was catatonic. So, that's kind of what happened. I'm, I was still, you know, I'm still doing my videos because this is, this is our time together, right? I need this time with you guys. And it's, especially being a stay-at-home mom, you don't get a lot of grown up time, you know what I'm talking about, just talking to another adult. So uh, it's important for me to, to continue doing the videos and hanging out with you guys. So what happened is, as you can see, I'm not in my, I am in the normal room, but I'm just in a different spot because I can show you, I'll turn it. My chair is gone. My stuff is still over there, but my chair is gone. So we had movers come in yesterday um, because I, it, I've been packing for like two months, you know, and I can only, we filled up a pod, we got another pod and it's, uh, it's been almost two months, right? So I just said, I can't anymore. I need some normalcy, you know. So we hired people to come in and pack and fill up the second pod. And as you can see, it's <laughs> we're still not done. So um, we are pretty much done living here full time. So today we have my son's party. 
So oh, thanks so much in the chat. I'm gonna say hey in one, in one more second. We have my son's birthday party. His birthday's not till June, but we won't be here. And all his buddies are here. He hasn't made new friends yet. So we decided we would go ahead and have his birthday party a little bit early, you know, just a couple weeks early so that he could have it with his buddies while we're here. So today we have his birthday party, which is why I'm the party mom. This is my party mom look. Wait, this is my normal look, whatever. Um, anyway, so it's, it's party day. Um, we're going to go do that. And then as soon as we're done with party, we are packing up the cats. We are packing up, you know, the van and the truck and we are heading to Austin. So we will be in Austin now more than Houston. So as you, over the last couple months, you've seen like we've had, you know, most of the time in Houston and sometime, you know, I'll, I'll be in Austin doing videos. So now we will be leaning the other way where more time is in Austin and less time in Houston, but we'll still be coming back to Houston because we're not quite done packing up the house and um, cleaning and getting everything ready for the renters. We have renters moving in June 15th. So I've got to get this going. Randy's out in the garage. He was out in the garage all day yesterday, all day today, well, all morning so far, um, weeding things out. So that's kind of where we're at with this. So let me say hey in the chat. And then I can talk about what's coming up this coming week and any questions and kind of go through some questions that came through on all the videos. I know it's early. So if you're like, hey, I missed the hangout today because it's early. I apologize. But yeah, it's party day. We're going to go play laser tag and shoot aliens and things like that. And eat and cake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have to show you. I'll show you the cake in a second. I will take you to the kitchen to show you the cake. Um, <laughs> all right. So, hey, Cheryl. Oh, my gosh. She said, I was just listening to the Tom Burt Reynolds discussion. Yeah, yesterday we were. <laughs> oh, I got a lot of thumbs down on that whole video, by the way. I think some people were a bit perturbed about our sidetrack. We had to sidetrack. We had to have the discussion. It was very important. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Fauna. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, Neville. Hey, Lord. Hey, have. Hey, Kara. Um, Tony says, honestly, I hate moving. I moved so much. I lived all over. I can't imagine. And I've moved before, but and I don't ever remember it being this stressful. This has been the but, but the last time I moved, I didn't have, I wasn't a reseller at the time. I just quit teaching. I just started staying home and we moved into this house like right around that time. So also when we moved into this house, we had all my grandmother's stuff also. So it was, yeah. So now it's just like, um, I don't recommend doing it again <laughs> in a while. So we're moving into an apartment too. So this is, we are going to be doing it again. So we're moving from here, whereas we have a four bedroom house into a two bedroom apartment until we find a house. Ah, so that's what's happening there. Um, but that's why we're getting pods. So we're, everything's going into pods. And then the pods can just get delivered to whatever house we find. And then we just, honestly, we're just going to hire somebody to unload those dang pods because, you know, I'm just going to lose it if I have to. Yeah. And then I can just unpack at my leisure and just, I mean, we downsized a ton, but we're going to downsize more when we get there. Um, Lord Ahab, I'm going to come right back to your question. Let me finish saying, saying hey real quick. Hi, Asteria and Lillian. Good morning. And yes, yeah, keeping normal things in balance is so important. Let's be happy through says Yes. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Bargain Chop Mama. Hello, hello. Hi, Kristen. Thank you for my happy belated birthday. Yes, yesterday was my birthday. So I was more than happy to have Packers come for my birthday. Um, birthday presents. Let's see, what did I get? My husband and kids got me a gift certificate to Massage Envy. And it's like a chain place because he didn't know if we would be in Houston or in Austin. or So it's a place where I can go get a massage. He, he had said, I wanted to get you like a day spa package where you could go for the day or go for a half a day. I'm like, I will murder you. Do not do that to me because my brain won't, I can't handle it. Especially now with everything in such upheaval. It was a sweet, con, you know, sweet idea, but I just... One, it's really hard for me to stay still that long. It's really hard for me to like, like I can't go to the salon and get my hair done. I do my own hair, like diet and everything. Even going to the nail salon, I like getting my nails done, but even going to the nail salon, it's hard for me to just stay put for an hour. Right? I just can't. Um, so it's a whole day or a half a day at the spa might, might make me lose my mind. Um, 
that's just me. <laughs> but an hour, like half hour massage, I think I'll be okay. So yeah. Um, and then my mom said, you know, hey, why don't you buy a couple new dresses? So she she let me pick out some dresses online. I went to Mod Clock. I can't wait. Um, and got and picked out some new dresses. So yeah, and that's that was pretty exciting. So thanks, thanks. Um um looking good morning more for the esky hi i'm sorry if i missed you morning sunny and nora um oh cheryl says packing our moving van today and heading back to idaho with a partial load so hard i'm taking the kitty too I, it is and you know when i started talking about it i just I, I had so many people so many of you guys coming and saying i'm right there with you this is happening for me too you're not alone i mean now i i mean people talk oh you know moving is one of the most stressful times in your life and I'm like, I have moved before, but never like this. So I totally get it now. Totally. You know, my kids are, I homeschool too. So they haven't been, it's not like I have all day to pack while they're at school. No. And so honestly, we, we homeschool has been kind of put on hold a little bit. I mean, we maybe got one or two subjects in a day, but they already know like in the summertime, we're going to have to do school for a couple hours every day and get caught up. It's all, that's the way it is. Um, Murphy says, tell them to wrangle the boys for half a day and let you thrift all over on your own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and that's what happened yet. Like Friday morning, I did a little bit yesterday morning. Just you know, a little. I showed you guys yesterday. But but Friday, that was like I was in heaven because he he was working from here. The kids were here. And I just went out and hit garage sales. I was so, so excited about that. Gabby says, we're, why, why are we moving or we are moving? I'm not sure. You have to re repeat that. And the back, I, yeah, the background is over there still. Um, the chair is gone though, so I had to kind of finagle things around. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna. I haven't forgotten your question, Lori. I have. I'm coming back to that. Did you, uh, Neville? I saw that you linked it, but I was when I saw the link, um, I was laying in bed and there were people sleeping around me, so I couldn't click it. So I'm gonna go click it. Is it? Is it something fun? <laughs> I'll have to go click it. Um, okay, so Lord Ahab asked, how many items do you need on Printful Etsy before getting decent sales? I opened another shop with Printful Etsy. I have 21 products trying to design 18th, 30th, 40th. Oh, okay. Um, well, what I, what I suggest, when even when you're selling vintage on Etsy, it's good to at least have one page full and, it, and nice to have a second page because if you go to an Etsy shop, and you see that they don't even have one page full of items. Um, how many items go on a page? Is it 20 or 24? I can't, I don't know exactly. Um, but when you go to a shop and there's only like one or two items, it looks like, oh, this is maybe not a, not that they're not reputable, but maybe they're new. They don't know what they're doing exactly. Um, so even if you're new, it's a good idea to at least fill up that first page and maybe get one or two items on the second page. So it looks like, okay, this person's been at it. They know what they're doing kind of deal. And even on Etsy, um, it might be a good idea. I mean, not to be deceptive, but to buy an item of your own or have somebody buy an item so that people can see, oh, there's like at least one sale. I mean, we bought an art, a, a, a shirt from one of our shops, but it's because my son designed it and he wanted a copy of it. And so we did that. So, it, I mean... And, but it's also like you want to test out your product because with Printful and Etsy, you want to see the print quality. I don't have it with me. It's in the dryer. Uh, anyway, <laughs> his shirt that he's going to wear today that he made. So, yeah, I, for sure, at least like the first one. Uh, and four top pile. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and on Etsy, you can select four items as your, you know, highlighted or featured items. So making sure that those are filled in because if one of them sells, Make sure you've got backups or well, print on demand. It's not, it's not, it's the, cause it, it's different from print on demand cause it just repopulates. But if, if you're on a um, vintage shop or a supply shop, make sure you've got a bunch of different ones lined up. Cause if one sells and it looks weird, you've only got three and there's like an empty spot. Um, yeah. So thanks for the, the comments on the hair y'all. I appreciate it. I, I feel like, I really like it. My I, and this is the, we're gonna talk here for one second. I've never been able to keep because I have super straight, straight, fine hair. And even when I would get perms, like one, the I think was in college. My grandmother was like, "I'm gonna spring for you to get a perm, get some wave in your hair." It like my hair won't even hold it. It just I mean within a week or month, like my hair's back to being straight again. But I found this 
like curling iron that's like magic. It is like a magic wand and it makes my hair curly and it stays, it stays. Yeah, it's weird. Um, so, hey, hey. Um, Lori says, I have a bunch of antique photos on cards. Should I open an Etsy for them on, or sell them on eBay? I would put them on both. I cross post my things. So yeah, I totally do. What about an Etsy store option? What do you think about that? I don't understand the question. I have an Etsy store. Is there like a different, I'm not quite sure I understand. I'm thinking about what you might mean, but I can't think of what that is. Speaking of, okay, this is a little, well, it's not totally off topic. I shared a little bit on Instagram, Facebook. I don't think I, did I put it up here? Oh, when we were packing up this closet, because I mentioned in another video that this used to be my grandmother's house. So there was a closet in my workroom that has all these shelves. Well, up on the top, like two shelves were boxes and boxes of um, slide carousels and also two boxes full of like eight millimeter reel to reel movies. And I think I shared it. I don't think I put it on YouTube, but I put it on Facebook and Instagram. Maybe one of the little clips of like my aunt, like jumping rope when she was a little girl and my mom and my great grandmother and all this. Um, so we were talking about getting them digitized and I went to the place in town to find out how much it costs to get things digitized. It is astronomical um, because it was like 50 to get 50 slides digitized was going to be over a hundred dollars. Well, we've got, I can't even begin to count. I mean, she's got so many care, like some of them are still loaded in carousels and I would say probably 30 carousels full and then two binders like this full of slides and then to digitize the, the reel to reels, like one little reel like this, 50 feet of reel to reel, 50 feet was gonna cost over a hundred dollars. And we've got like two boxes. I mean, they're not giant boxes, but they're boxes like with these reel to reels in them. So what we decided was I'm gonna do it. And we looked at, I was like, I could buy the equipment and learn to do it. Cause it would be in the thousands of dollars to get this stuff all digitized. Um, and it's like the, the, the slides are, my, cause my grandmother traveled a lot like in the late 70s early 80s she traveled everywhere and so i'm really excited to look at these because it's a lot of places like um you know she went to germany when it was west germany before the wall fell she went to russia when it was still cccp you know she went to china's you know she has all of these photos she you know she went on an african safari and went over you know balloon ride over the serengeti you know so i really want to see all these slides but I don't want to pay in the thousands of dollars. I mean, we have a slide projector. We've got the reel-to-reel -reel camera machine to project them. Um, so I, I looked at, you find converters all the time at Goodwill. And he says, yeah. So as I'm driving home and telling Randy, Randy, I went and priced it out. It's going to be in the thousands of dollars from this place. I'm sure I could go shop around and find it someplace else. Well, he looked it up and was like, oh, it's like 200 bucks for this converter and 300 bucks for the reel to reel one. And I said, I'm like, I think we're going to have to go that route. I'd rather pay and have the equipment myself and then just, you know, be able to do it on my own and then pay thousands of dollars because that's not happening. Not happening. I, I'm capable. I'm a capable woman. I can figure this out. And I'm really excited to see because I, I only watched a few of the reel to reels. I just sat one night after the kids went to bed in there, I was just playing them, and there was one of, um, they'd gone on the mission trail in Texas, which is, you know, the Alamo is part of the mission trail, but there's six missions, um, and the Alamo being one of them. She, they went on the mission trail in the late 50s, um, went to Yosemite, you know, had you know, the reel to reel of Old Faithful and um, Mount Rushmore and stuff like that. Um, so, and there's even one of the sunken gardens in San Antonio, the river walk back in the fifties in San Antonio. And, um, cause it has changed. <laughs> just put that out there. Um, and also like this underwater theater, like there's some footage of them going to this submarine theater where they're underwater and the, there's people like swimming around and getting air from the bubbles. It's so cool. So I want to like get it so I can share it with you guys. So yeah. Um, anyway, there was that that's going on too. So uh, let's see. Let me look at, oh, why are we moving? My husband got a job in Austin. And what happened was 
he's been working for, he'd been working for the same company for maybe four five years here um and then I'm not, I'm not mentioning the name of the company, but I'm really not happy about the way they handled this. So every year in January, they did their reviews and they talked about the um, the raises and things like that. And so they said, you know, well, on you know on Thursday, everybody's coming in. We're going to talk about compensation. Well, they took it as you know everybody on the team was talking about okay, you know, it's our review time. We're going to be talking about how the year went, what's coming up, and what our raises are going to be. Well. It was kind of misleading because they kind of made it sound like they were coming in for their raises because it was the normal time that they did that. Well, when they came in, their almost more than half of their department was um, outsourced. And so when they came in, one at a time came in, told them, we're letting you go. This Your compensation is your severance package, basically. And they escorted them to their desks and escorted them out like freaking criminals. You know, it was horrible i mean it was and it wasn't because anybody had done anything wrong it was because the company wanted to save money and outsource to another country and it was just handled badly you know what i mean it was it was really handled badly um so after that we were freaking out i know i, I shared in the videos that that happened you know and that we were going from a one family income because he's you know basically he's the one that pays all the major bills i mean i'm able to contribute more now but um when i first started staying home that was it that was our only income uh so yeah so then he was out of work and he's he's not an out of work kind of guy you know what i mean so he it, it was about two months um which now it's like oh that's not that bad in the grand scheme of things when you see how many you know people have been out of work for a long time but he got this job offer in austin and we just decided let's do this you know we're homeschooling we can totally do this we'll be closer to my sister way further from my parents my parents live a mile away from me right now um so like right up the road a mile yeah so um so that's why we're moving so lord hey printful question how does it print images alpha i've never seen Hey, let me see. Hey, Michael, go to the dryer and get your shirt because I want to show them what it looks like. Okay. Oh, you get it. Okay. It's the blue one with the cat. Huh? It's the blue one with the cat on it. <laughs> like the photographs, if you want to see. <laughs> Jeff made this goofy shirt. If you, if you watch our merch talks, Jeff made a really goofy shirt and bag that has my face. He like took the images off of my thumbnails and it, it printed really, really well. It's a silly shirt. It's like the mini expressions of Margaret or something and it's me making all these funny faces. Um, but it wasn't like he had the files or anything. He just screen grabbed them off the computer and made the shirt. Um, so here's one Thank you, sweetheart, that we made. This is the one Mikey did and it's like a kitty cat. He wanted it in black and white so it's this black and white image of a kitty cat on a shirt in space. So that's the shirt he made that he wanted. Um, so yeah, it, it's worth checking out the samples, but the, the photograph one, if you look in the last video that Jeff is wearing the shirt on Merch Talk, um, it print, I have one actually, but I don't know where it is. Um, yeah. Oops. Hey boys, time to switch. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, the, it prints out pretty good. You know, we were surprised at how how good the the image, the photos printed from him just doing screen grabs. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, Pixie Girl says an Etsy store option like where eBay offers. I saw it pop up last night with an option to buy a domain name. Yeah, I, I and I honestly suggest that for anybody that's doing a small business, you know, because you never know where it's going to take you. Pick a name that is open to interpretation like Texas Gal Treasures could be anything um, and you get the domain name for it, for it because I definitely you know I got the domain name for that I have the domain name for my sister and I have a blog that we haven't done anything with him forever called Earthworms and Marmalade and you know so it just yeah I mean I, I switched my homeschool name over to homeschool honey so I made you know when got the domain name for that because you just never know I mean, it's not that expensive to get the domain name 
And even if you just, you know, have it for the future, because you know, once somebody else has it, they might or might not sell it to you or whatever. Um, oh yeah, Dan says, store them in separate hard drive in case something happens to the computer. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, Leslie says they walk out layoff workers. Yeah, and that's that's what he was saying. But still, it was just so, meh, you know. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad that we. I'm really, I'm really glad that we're moving. You know, there's some some sad things about it because we're moving from my parents, and the, you know, the kids spend a lot of time with my dad and stuff. Um, thanks, but there's no alpha channel you can use to fade. Nothing. I don't understand. I'm gonna have to ask that question to Jeff and them because I'm not quite sure I know the answer to that one, Lord Ahab. Um, Perlis just saw the shirt and thought it was funny. Okay, cool. Okay, so coming up this week, um, we're leaving for Austin today. So Monday through Saturday morning, we're gonna be in Austin. Um, so my plan when we get there is to just kind of get things set up. We're bringing boxes of things. So try to get things livable because we're still gonna, it'll, not that we're squatting, you know, it's a two bedroom apartment, but we're going to have a lot of stuff in tubs and boxes and we don't have a lot of furniture there because we packed it all up. Um, so just trying to figure out livable space and then also trying to figure out um, if I can start getting my shop set back up so I can, you know, turn my eBay and Etsy back on. So I don't know. We'll see. We may, I may want to wait until we are totally done with the house. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but, you know, at least I could, I don't know, start taking pictures of things or I, I'm not sure exactly. Um, so that's going to be going on uh, on YouTube. I shared with you guys that I got um, this book, this Napier book that I'm going to be reviewing. I messaged her the other day because I was sitting there looking at it. And I just, she sent it to me to review and, and share with you guys. And then hopefully eventually we'll be able to do a sit down um and I can interview her, but as I was sitting looking at it, I was like, I need to pay her for this book. It is so amazing. I feel bad getting it just as a review because it is that amazing. It's way more than just, let's talk about Napier. It's like the whole history of, almost like a history of jewelry leading up to it also. And it's the layout, I mean, you'll see. It is not one of these, you know, fly by night, let me make an ebook and make a quick buck kind of deal. You can tell this was a major labor of love. So, and <laughs> I would say, I mean, if I had to make something like this, it would probably take years, you know, to, to do it. It's just phenomenal. So just wait and see. Oh, is the internet connection bad? Let me know in the chat, because Dan's saying the inter internet connection's LOL. So I don't know if it's off or something. Uh oh, let me know in the chat. Is everything okay? Is it bad? Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to keep going. Hopefully, it's okay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So, this week, that's going to happen. Um, I have my jewelry because I wanted to share with you guys how. Oh, it's okay. Good. I wanted to show you guys how I'm planning on continuing at least selling, you know, the jewelry and how I've packed up, you know, what I need for selling packing there. Um, so I'm going to do a video sharing that hopefully this week and oh, 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 the internet in my new place. Yeah. It's kind of spotty cause it's an apartment and it's on the first floor. So I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I misunderstood what you were talking about, I guess. So there's that. Okay. And then next when we come back here, we're going to be back in, in the house for next weekend and part of the next week, you know, just trying to finish things up and get things squared away here. I don't know. So I don't know. And then, and then hopefully this week also I'll be getting all the paperwork together for talking about house hunting, trying to find a new place. Um, so if you're in the Austin area, I can't wait because I'm sure I'll run into you because Austin's not as big as Houston at all. Um, but we're looking probably, you know, North Austin, Lugerville, Round Rock, and those areas for for our house, just kind of depending. We've got a lot of wish lists, of course. So let us know if you were. I did, you know, and I I was when we were up there a couple weeks back. I did run into him, 
And I shared it, and I don't know that he ever shared, because he, he got a little capture of me on his camera video. I don't know if he ever put that out or not. I, he puts out about as many videos as I do, so I have no, I, we have no way of watching watching each other's videos. Oh, the lot from France. I need to write that person a message of apology. <laughs> not an apology, but not nothing really bad happened. But so um, I'm as I mentioned to you guys before, I'm trying to get the channel going more. I'm really promoting trying to get you guys to share the videos if you like them. I'm trying to get more subscribers and views so that some of the profits I can use to buy lots off eBay to do unboxings and do some kind of giveaway. I'm just and then also to get some international jewelry lots sent over, like from France or UK or wherever. And um, so I went ahead and I was like, I'm gonna just go ahead and get one from UK, I mean eBay France. So I paid for it and I got the little email saying, okay, you've paid and now you're just waiting for the buyer to ship. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. You know, and they had next day shipping. I'm like, okay, well, this isn't, you know, after about four days, I messaged them and said, hey, just curious, you know, when is this gonna ship? And they message was like, well, as soon as you pay for it. <laughs> and I was like, I got a message that I paid for it. I don't understand. You know, and I'm having to do this all through Translate. Um, so I went back and looked and PayPal paid it out as an e-check instead of just straight out of my PayPal account because I had the money there. So I don't know why they did that. And I had a problem with that with um, one of the merch uh, when I was buying shirt designs and it's from an overseas company. Um, that for whatever reason, sometimes PayPal processes as an e-check. So it doesn't clear until like the 24th or 26th or something like that. So I need to message them and say, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't realize PayPal was going to process this as an e-check. Next time I'll use my regular just credit card and reimburse. You know, I try to do everything through PayPal for my business because I can go daddy it and tag everything with what it is. So I need to message them and say, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that PayPal was doing that. And so it's gonna be a little bit longer <laughs> until it gets here, um, but I'm, I'm hanging on for it, I'm hanging on. I'm hoping it's good, because I really wanna do some more international lots. I think that would be so much fun to do. And then, you know, I, I, I don't know, I'll have to get with you guys and figure out how we can do, because I don't want it to all be just like, look at Margaret's getting awesome stuff from overseas, you know, where we can, yeah, help, you know, share the wealth and have some fun with it. And you guys get some too. We do giveaway. I don't know. I love doing giveaways. So, because who doesn't like getting fun stuff in the mail? I don't know. Anyway, okay. So, I have got to get, because we are about to, oh, I was going to show you the cake. Okay, I'm going to take you over to the kitchen and show you the cake um, for Mikey's birthday. Because we went, and, you know, normally we go to like Kroger or HEB to get the cake. Well, Mikey saw a cake at Aranda's Taqueria, not the Taqueria, but the bakery. So they had gone to the bakery to get some goodies. I don't know, Randy took them. Um, and when we were there, he said, I saw a Minecraft cake I really wanted. So we went, I share the story in, in one of the ride-alongs that I'll put out, but, so we got the Minecraft cake and y'all, it's like 10 pounds. I thought it was just gonna be like a one sheet, sheet cake. It's like this tall. It's giant, but it looks amazing. I can't wait. Okay, hang on, let me take you over there. I'm bringing you to the kitchen to show you the cake. I'm hiding your hair, don't worry. You're fine. Here's the kitchen, okay. It's like, oh my God, yeah, our, our crazy cake. crazy pantry. Can y'all see the cake in there? Can y'all see it? I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll have to turn it this way so you can see. There, it's right here. It's humongous. I don't know if you can see how deep it is. You're gonna pull, oh, don't. I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. <laughs> He's going to take out the cake. Oh, you can fix it. It's You can fix it. It's that tall. Fix it. <laughs> we need to pull it out anyway. It's getting dried. All right, so here, and ignore the messy kitchen. Look at how giant this cake is. It's like goes way down. In, anyway, you can't see that. Anyway, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Why did I need to show you the cake? I don't know. So, um, yeah, we got to get ready for the the party, but then the cake is like this big. I don't know if you could catch that in the neighborhood. It's like this tall. You know, we don't have that many people coming to the party. We have like six or seven kids, maybe eight kids. We got a lot of cake. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with it when we're done. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. But he was excited to get the Minecraft cake. Yeah. 
Okay, um, now I want cake, right? Um, before we go, um, go over there and hit the thumbs up button. And if you if you like this video, and this goes again for for any content creator, YouTuber that you like, this is the way that they know that you enjoy the content. Um, leave a comment saying whatever, just like good video, nice to see you. Um, leave a, a thumbs up, and that way, you know, I will know other it goes for them too. You know, they, they know like, okay, this is the kind of thing that you guys want to um, want to see and like enjoy the kind of videos you enjoy. So let me know. <laughs> I, mean, I know. <laughs> I have not seen Japanese jiggly cakes. I, I've got a YouTube video. Yeah, Julie, I will. Um, okay. So thanks so much for coming to hang out, you guys. And I'm glad that I got to hang out with you guys. And if you are new, please go hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you and come talk in the chat because we have a nice chat. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a really good day and 